Hi, take you guys. I'm Nanki Swami, and today we'll be learning about setting up a private DPT with our private enterprise data. Yeah, you heard it right. Nowadays, we have been hearing a lot of issues happening just, just because of data leakage by using the GPT or chat GPT. So let's get started. Uh, just go ahead and open up this uh, github page uh, i'll share the link below in the description and if you scroll down at the bottom of this page you will see system requirement so first we'll try to fix that system requirement issues and then we'll go on the coding side uh, it doesn't require like too much of gpu cpu or ram or much configuration it can run all uh, offline on the normal machines which uh, usually we have in our organization so if you go through the first step that it show it says so we'll uh, all be working for the windows usually we see windows operating system in uh, enterprises so first we need to install the visual studio 2020 and how to install the Visual Studio, you can find a lot of material uh, online. So once you install the Visual Studio 22, then you need to go to All App and just scroll down for Visual Studio Installer. Just open it up. and click on modify and here what do we need is these two things first one is universal windows uh, platform development so that we can find it here this one just select this one and then second one is C++ and that's also here C++ just select both of these and then just make sure you are selecting these three options once you select these three options click on install while downloading and click on install and modify that will be the option there once you are successfully able to install these uh, two components as part of uh, your visual studio 22 the next thing you need is just go ahead and download this github repository you can simply click on the download button it should be fairly quick so once you are done downloading, open up the folder, right click on the downloaded file and go to properties and click on unblock fly and then just right click and extract all. Click on extract. Once you are done extracting this folder, and this is everything that we see here, these are the same files, and we downloaded as part of zip, and now we have done unzipping it. We'll cut it, and then put it in the our coding folder, which is I have created in the C drive. You can keep it wherever you like. This is the first step, and then just scroll it down and go to the environment setup. So once you are here at the environment setup, we need to run the pip install command. And the I first, uh, what we need to do is open up this downloaded folder in IDE, and you can utilize any IDE. I am using Visual Studio Code. You can use whichever you like. 
once you open up the Visual Studio Code, Python, or, or, or any of the Python ID, just click on the Open folder and then go to your C drive or wherever you place the, the downloaded file and now look for private GPT and click on select folder. Now next step is we need to install all the requirements and in the requirement you can see there are a lot of uh, um, libraries to the Click on the terminal, open up a new terminal, and copy the command that you see here, and paste it to this copy from it. And install. So it should be fairly simple. It may take a while to install all the requirements. So this is the first step. Once you are done installing all the requirements, second step is we need to create an environmental file. And to do that, just right click on your folder or just click on this uh, new file option and create a dot env file. So for any environmental variable that you're going to store as part of this project, that value should go in .env file. And now, if you read out the description here, it says copy everything which is there in the example.env file. So let's go to the example.env file and Hit Control A, Control C, and go back to .env and paste it here. Now, what it has is there is a directory for DV and the model type. Model type means this LLM or this Langshell model is having the two different options to utilize the two different model. But for our use case, we will be using GPT for all. And what is GPT for all? That you can go to Google and type GPT for all. This is all Apache 2.0 licensed, all open source uh, models. And here you can find the different uh, capabilities that we get out of uh, the GPT for all. And it's completely offline you can install it on the machine and get it working you don't even need any internet connection here you can read out these are the different models trained on different data type and here you can see for the options and if you need a particular model you can select it here and for our use case, we will be using the Snooji. We'll select the Snooji and click on this button. It will start downloading. It's around 7 MB file I have already downloaded. So it may take around a couple of minutes to download it completely. So once it download it, it will be .bin file. And uh, I just... Uh, so once it get downloaded you need to again go to your download folder right click go to property and again unblock that once you unblock then place that download page folder uh, or the file within the same this private dvd folder so currently i have that file here so i just cut it and paste it back into the private GPT main folder with it here and now if I open it up I need to copy the file file name and go back to my environmental variable and replace this value so this is the same path or actually the file path or the model file path with our LLM model or uh, this uh, private GPT will be using 
to interact with the user. So here we just place the model folder, which you can see it here, models and then the model name. And the next one is embedding model. So embedding model is something that will chunk and create a embedding for the text data that we will be teaching to, to our GPT. So it will chunk, create embedding and then stores in the vector DV. Now, for this file, this one will be automatically downloaded by this code, uh, by the Python code that we have. If that file isn't there on the uh, location, so next step that we need to do is we need to go to ngs.py and if you go to the documentation again and here if you see once we supply all these values all these different values in the env file so currently you can see if you go back to the env uh, we are keeping all other values as default and if you want to understand more about which uh, particular variable means what that you can read it here and here are the different models we have for embeddings that also you can go and open it up and read it out here are the different models now our next step is setting up the test data so i belong to a, one of the uh, a small town in rajasthan and we have uh, a Balaji temple nearby uh, my hometown, which is Salasar Balaji. So I'm going to teach to the chat GPT about Salasar Balaji, and then we'll be asking questions uh, relevant to the Salasar Balaji only. So uh, this code has the capability to read any of these type of formats we can have the data in csv word or any of these html so for now i'll be using the just only text simple text format and then we'll convert that text to the embedding and stores in the vector dv all will be happening uh, automatically so that will let us create a text file that has the contain so I'll just Google and search for Salas Balaji tool. And I'll go to Wikipedia. Now, I'll just copy this content. and i'll just copy and go back to the folder go back one folder back and here you can see the source document here we can have any number of documents in different format so what all format it supports that we can find it here. so in any of these format we can create the uh, raw data file and put it in this folder so currently I'm just using the notepad, so I'll just hit Control A, delete all the data, press it here, the data that I copied, and I'll just close it, I'll rename it, Sala, uh, Balaji. And then I'll also search at the same time about my city, which is Sujangar. I'll just create the two files. And 
and copy the content, paste it, or create a new notepad file. Just all the data there. Save it. Close. It. Now our next step is. We already have all the raw data. Now our next step is to convert that into the embedding and store that embedding in a vector database. So all the LLM model doesn't work well with the current database, which is a scalar database that has a row and column. Uh, actually, it behave or work well with the vector database that is multi-dimensional database. And embedding, embedding is nothing but what text or the data we have used, it converts into the machine language, which is like zero, uh, zero to one range uh, language, and stores in the multi-dimensional database, which is vector database. So let's go back to our uh, the file, and here it says. To create the data file, we need to run this in this dot py. So now go back to our code, open up or find out your in this dot py file, which is here, and run it up. You can see this play button, so click on it. Sometimes you may run into certain issues, maybe some missing libraries. So just keep install those missing libraries and you should be all good there. Now you can see it's reading out all the document or both the text file, converting, chunking, and converting. Uh, uh, here you can see the embedding. And then it will create the DV file. And I believe it's done. So we can go and back. Now you can see this folder just created. So if I open it up, you can see the two file. One will be a metadata file, and another one will have the real data. So if you want to see what data it has, then what we can do, we can create a file. And you can give any name. I'm going to give the name of check data dot py. So this is the chroma DB file. And to read these file data, we need pandas. So I'm going to from pandas or import pandas as 3D. So, so fine. PD and then I'll give the uh, file path path and the let's read both the file. So I'll just shift then right click and copy as path and I'll hit control V. So here we have the file path. Now we'll read this data and store in some variable, I will just call it out as td dot td dot read produced and the file path which is in our file path variable and then supply the engine and that auto. Now let's print what we have in my data. Let's add a breakpoint here and run the debug.
if you run into any issue or error that will be most probably about missing a library so you can simply pip install that missing library and it should fix the issue okay here we have read about this data and to check what data we have just right click on this my data variable and select a view value value in data viewer and i Oh, okay. That's the kind of data data only, and it will talk about what type of data we have and what libraries are we using. So I'll just close it out, and this time we'll read the actual data file. So this is just a metadata file, and now we'll read the actual data. So I just sit and the right click. Then copy as part, go back, replace this part. And now let's run it. Here we can set the values in the data. Okay, here you can see the details and converted embedding. This is the text and this is respective embedding. So all the data is converted uh, embedding into the embedding and those are stored in the vector DV file. Now let's close it out and let's go back to the documentation and read about the next step. The next is says we just need to run the private gpt.py file and then we can start asking the question about the relevant to what we have taught to the gpt now let's go to the files open up for our private gpt.py and just simply run it so when you run it it comes to this main function and in the main you can see it will be uh, reading the data out of this uh, dv file that is created and here we are defining what llm model it's going to use so it will be using langchain's uh, GPT for all model and the model which we have downloaded and stored in this folder, this one. And this detail we have passed in the environmental variable. Now let's go ahead and run it up. will take a couple of minutes to start it but once it starts here you can see it's asking us enter a query so i'll just check uh, over this sample So first time when you run, it takes some time, but it will give the answer from document that we have taught to the GPT. And now here you can see it has given me the answer correctly. And it will give the four nearest matching answers. That's what we have defined in the code that you can uh, make to a uh, just give only one answer so for getting the one answer you can uh, here you can break this loop so it will give you only one answer uh, but currently it is uh, defined to give the four uh, nearest matching answer so this is the first one and the second one you can see and further if you scroll it down you will see the nearest other second and third matching answer as well yeah 
uh, that's it in this tutorial so just to summarize what we have done is we need to clone the um, this github repository once you are cloned then you need to download one more file which is this one the model and that you can locate or define the uh, in dpt for all which is here uh, select the appropriate model so once you have these two things done then go back open up your code uh, or the downloaded the uh, github repository create a dot env file and copy and paste the details from example dot env to dot env file just change the uh, model name and then go back uh, uh, to in this dot py file run it up it will download the required dependency to create the embedding uh, for our own data then go back to the folder and here you should find the folder called as source document place all your proprietary or enterprise related data uh, in any of uh, different uh, formats so what format is support that you can find it in here so any of these type of format files you can place it in this folder and then run this in this the uh, uh, .py file this file will create one more file which is a dv file and it will create these two files one is the metadata file and another one is actual data file so it will automatically chunk the detail and then create the embedding and store it in these chroma dv files so if you want to check what data is stored in these files so you can create one more file and just these uh, two three line of code can get to the detail of what data or the what embedding is created and stored in uh, vector dv then go to your pro um, private dpt.py file and run it up and then ask the question are relevant to what document uh, we have stored here and it should give us four uh, nearest matching answers to our question so that's it uh, this is how you can set it up your private dpt on your uh, proprietary data and have everything work offline and integrate with any of the application uh, in the next tutorial we will be building a kind of rest api and then that rest api will be called by uh, microsoft teams chat so whatever the questions we are asking here that you can directly ask in the microsoft teams chat and it will answer uh, from the document that we have taught to the gpt for us thanks for watching See you in the next video.